Hello all and welcome to our talk for the programme LM097, which is mathematical and insight into this programme LM097. So firstly, and you may have seen this already, but just to give you a bit of a background about the University of Limerick. So life is all about making choices and by choosing UL, you are making sure that you are making the right choice. And here are just some of the reasons why. So we can see there that it's Ireland's most popular university with a satisfaction rating of 85%. It has also received five star rankings for graduate employability, innovation and knowledge transfer. It's a young and enterprising university. So UL was only founded in 1972, meaning it's still considered a relatively young university and still has a very vibrant and youthful feel to it. And you will experience that vibrancy from the moment you set foot on UL campus. In addition to this, UL offers a first seven weeks programme, and this is an initiative designed to provide strong, enhanced and targeted support to students during the very early weeks of their time as a UL student. So it's really to help our students to transition from second level to third level. And the initiatives that they run are of such high quality. Even today, I just saw on Twitter, they were talking about um, different exam tips for students that may not be used to the amount of independent learning that um, comes with third level. So again, a really good initiative and a really positive initiative for students coming to UL. And finally then, um, it's Ireland's sporting campus, boasts an Olympic sized swimming pool. We have a national strength and conditioning centre, largest artificial 3G pitches in Europe. And all of those facilities are available to students once you enrol on a programme in the University of Limerick. So now to look at this exact, this precise program LM097. So just to give you a bit of background, it equips students with the skills and knowledge necessary to teach both mathematics and computer science at post-primary level. It is a new program and hence those who enrol in the program will be pioneers in this field at second level. And don't be in any doubt that this field is going to be one of the most exciting and rapidly growing areas of study in the coming years. The advancements made at second level currently mean that computer science is going to be seen as a critical subject going forward. And there's a lot of evidence to suggest that mathematics is already seen as such a critical subject. Therefore, the demand for teachers of these two subjects is going to be high in the coming years. And it is our vision that students enrolled on LM097 will meet this demand and you will have the skills necessary to meet this demand. So our first intake was 2020. So yes, it's a new program. It's a new, it's an exciting, it's an innovative program. But it has, it does draw on other successful concurrent teacher education programs offered in the University of Limerick. And what that means is that students that enroll on LM097 will have the opportunity to mix with students from other teacher education programs. So for example, there'll be in a lot of classes with physical education and math students when they're studying mathematics and they'll also be in classes with students studying computer science in their computer science modules. Also, we have a third component to the module, which is your education and professional studies. And this will give students the opportunity to mix with and meet students from other teacher education programs, such as our languages program, our science program and so on. And again, as I've mentioned already, it is designed to address the shortage of teachers for these two critical subjects at second level. So then who is this program for? And there's many reasons why this program might be the ideal or the perfect fit for you. So first of all, if you're interested in mathematics, computer science, and seeing how these disciplines underpin so many different problems and technologies that we work with every day, if you have an interest in seeing that and discovering more about that, then this program is for you. If you have a genuine interest in helping young people to learn key skills in the area of mathematics, coding, computer technologies and so on, then again, this program is for you. And finally, the skills that you develop on this program will be globally transferable and recognise skills internationally. So again, if that's something that you want to make sure that you have a skill set that is recognised internationally, then this program could be for you. So why study this program is the next question that you may have. So this program, again, it's designed to meet demand. And we have been in consultation for a long time now as a school of education here in the University of Limerick, looking at the supply and demand issue with teachers. 
And these two subjects has been, have been identified as critical in going forward. So there is going to be a demand for mathematics and computer science teachers. The reason for that is there is always a demand for mathematics teachers, firstly. We have an issue in Ireland with out of field mathematics teachers. That means that teachers not qualified to teach mathematics are currently teaching be mathematics because of this shortage. And the government are very, very keen to reduce the instance of out of field teaching. And they've already invested money since since 2013, we've been running a program in UL trying to upskill out of field teachers. And that just came to a conclusion last year. But there is no doubt that this is in issue of out of field teaching is going to continue and we need to try and ensure that we have enough graduates um, coming from UL that will meet the demand. Likewise, computer science, it really is um, taking off at the moment. Each year there's more and more schools offering computer science at leaving certificate level. Um, Again, I need to look up the latest figures, but I know it's in excess of 100 schools out of the 723 schools currently um, operating in Ireland. At least 100, I think it could be around 110 of those schools are offering computer science. And that number is going to continue to grow. There's no question about that. In addition to that, teachers that graduate from this program will be able to teach the coding course. So this is a short course that has now come in a junior cycle and again is offered in numerous um, schools and again graduates of this program will have the skills to teach that subject. Um, so then in terms of the entry requirements, so as with all UL programs you need two higher level um, H5 grades or four ordinary level O6 grades. Sorry that should be two higher level H5 and four ordinary level O6 or four H7 so that's higher level grades. You must study mathematics, Irish or another language and English. So there are three um, subjects that you have to have studied. And again, they are the prerequisites for all courses in the University of Limerick. Now for this course in particular, students must hold a H4 grade in mathematics. So mathematics, you're obviously going to be studying a lot of mathematics modules and also mathematics will underpin a lot of the ideas that you encounter in your computer science modules. So for that reason, to ensure that you're sufficiently prepared for this course, we do um, insist on a H4 grade in mathematics. I also want to just alert you to the fact that students admitted to the programme are required to undergo a Garda vetting process. And the simple reason for this is that in second year and fourth year, you will be out in schools with minors. So you'll be teaching students under the age of 18. Hence, Garda vetting is necessary. Now, that H4 grade in mathematics can often, students often worry about it, are concerned that they may not meet that requirement. But in UL, we have what is known as the Special Mathematics Entrance Exam. And until this year, this exam was only open to students enrolling on a science and engineering faculty program. Now, this program, um, LM097, is what we call an interfaculty program. So we have a number of different faculties involved, including the Education and Health Sciences faculty and the Science and Engineering faculty. And before this year, the, for that reason, the special mathematics entrance exam was not um, available to students enrolling for LM097. But the course board team and I have worked this year and brought it to the attention of Academic Council in UL. And I'm glad to say it has now been approved for use by those enrolling on LM097. So what does that mean? Well, basically, it means that if you, having put down um, LM097 on your CAO, if you then did not achieve the H4 in mathematics that is required for the programme, you get a second chance. So in between the first and second offers, you can sit what is known as the Special Mathematics Entrance Exam. And what this exam, it's very similar to the Leaving Certificate. It'll only be one paper, but it's still um, questions from, say, paper one and paper two. You will come into UL. Hopefully things will be, by the time you're starting, it'll be back to some bit of normality and you'll be able to come into UL take this special mathematics exam in a two, two and a half hour period. It'll be corrected by um, academics in UL. And if you achieved a H4 in that exam, that supersedes the grade that you got in your leaving certificate. So once you have the point requirement for LM097, 
and all that you're missing is the H4 in mathematics. If you got a H4 in that special mathematics exam, then you will be um, eligible for the course. So again, it's like a second shot at the mathematics exam. Now, for more information, you can see that website that I've outlined there, or even if you just Google special mathematics entrance exam UL, it's the first website that you'll come across. But again, I think it still says on that website, it's only available for um, science and engineering faculty programs, but that has only recently been changed. So then just to look at the course structure, and I tried to color code this just to highlight the diverse um, range of modules that you'll be engaging in. So the blue modules there are the mathematics modules. So you see you'll be studying everything from algebra through calculus, linear algebra, which will actually be new to many of you. It was on the old mathematics um, curriculum. It's still on the applied mathematics curriculum for anyone that does that. You'll also be looking at analysis, geometry, statistics, groups and algebraic structures and differential equations. So you can see from that in terms of mathematics, you'll be revisiting a lot of the content that you learned at secondary school, but you'll be going much further with that content. And also there'll be new content in terms of analysis, groups, differential equations and so on. The purple modules then, um, are the computer science modules that you undertake as part of this program. So again, you see there's things like software development, programming, database systems, software testing and inspection, looking at what is the best practice internationally in relation to computer science. You'll also get an introduction to web development, data structures and algorithms and computer graphics. Now you can imagine the skills that you develop in those modules are not only going to be relevant for you when you go teaching, but are relevant to a whole host of different professions in the IT industry. And you are going to open doors to yourself in the IT industry if you did make a decision at the end of the four years on LM097 that you didn't want to embark on a teaching career. Then we see in the yellow, these are what we call our educational and professional modules. So this is really about um, you becoming an, a rounded teacher. So we have contemporary understanding and thinking on education. So what is education in Ireland? What do we mean by education? And what are the current, I suppose, what, what's currently being advocated for in terms of education in Ireland? We look at educational technology and never has that been more important than in the last, well, since March 12th, I suppose, when schools went online, universities went online um, and so on. Understanding young people and how they learn, that's going to be critical for any teacher. Planning for learning. Again, when you go out in school placement, you're going to have to plan. So that module is going to look in detail at that. You look at curriculum and policy studies. So the research that's out there in relation to that. You have two modules on inclusive education um, issues. So in particular, you look at special educational needs and what it means to be an inclusive educator. And then you look at teacher as a professional as well. And you'll see then we have um, this module here in black and this module here in black. That's when you get to actually go out to schools and teach. So you will have an eight week block in your second semester of second year and a 10 week block in your first semester of fourth year where you will be out in a secondary school teaching mathematics, coding, computer science. So that's a real opportunity to, for you to learn on the ground. And Finally, then in red, we have subject pedagogy. So this will be learning how to teach your subject. So how to teach computer science and how to teach mathematics. And we'll be looking at the different skills, the different levels of understanding and the different techniques that you can bring with you to the classroom. So by highlighting that course structure, I hope that I've shown you the broad range of topics and subjects that you will engage in while studying LM or on LM097. It really, really is a broad and diverse programme. So then what career opportunities are available to you? So obviously you'll be eligible to teach in all second level schools. You'll be eligible to teach mathematics. And by the end of or in the next year or so, at least, we're hoping to have approval from the Teaching Council to say that the programme is accredited for computer science and coding as well. Um, we have submitted the programme design to the Teaching Council for accreditation. I'll talk a bit more about this at the end. But because the um, subject criteria for computer science and coding have not yet been published by the Teaching Council, we're just awaiting accreditation. But also, you're going to have a really strong 
understanding and background in mathematics and computer science. And that will mean that you will have a huge range of opportunities available to you in the software industry. So a lot of times people think when they're enrolling on a teacher education program that they're basically going in one direction. But that is not at all the case. And we have seen that now. I haven't seen it with graduates from this program because our first intake was this year, but I have seen it with graduates from so many other teacher education programs. Just to give one example, um, a student that graduated from physical education and mathematics. So again, wouldn't even have as strong a background in mathematics as students on this program will end up developing. But that, that graduate is now over in um, I think it's Holland, working for the equivalent, the Dutch equivalent of the ESB. Again, very high position in that company based on the mathematics skills that he developed as part of his course. So while graduates like that graduate I mentioned entered UL thinking in at four, after four years, I'm going to come out of here as a qualified teacher. That is very true, but it doesn't mean that you have to enter the classroom. You're going to open a range of other doors for yourself as well. And I've spoken already about the number of um, schools currently off offering computer science. So then not only are you opening doors in terms of doors to workplaces, but you're also opening doors in terms of um, opportunities to study more. And we at the University of Limerick offer a range of opportunities in this regard. So you have the opportunity to pursue further study in the discipline of mathematics. Um, for example, many graduates again from that physical education and mathematics program go on to study um, a master's offered in UL in applied mathematics and modeling. You could also go on to pursue um, further study in the area of computer science, because again, your background will equip you to do that or further study in education. You could do a research um, master's or PhD in the area in any of those areas. And again, that is my own background in that I enrolled on the physical education and mathematics um, program many, many moons ago. But what I ended up doing was doing a research um, project, a PhD in mathematics education, and that's how I found myself where I am today, giving this talk. Um, so again, lots of opportunities for you. You're not just going to be a teacher and that's it. You can be a teacher, but you can be anything else as well in this particular industry. So again, just want to highlight that to you. Now, I did want to talk to you a bit about the accreditation. So in Ireland, in order to be registered as a second level teacher, you must meet the minimum requirements set out by the Teaching Council. And that's basically the professional body that regulates the profession of teaching. So what they state is they'll tell you how many credits you need in, let's say, algebra, let's say geometry. That's for mathematics teaching. And this program meets all the criteria for mathematics teachers. It also meets all the criteria for the educational and professional studies that the Teaching Council insists that you must have. As I said previously, the Teaching Council is still finalising the criteria needed to teach computer science in Irish secondary schools. So any university offering a mathematics and computer science teaching degree or just a computer science teaching degree. No, none of them universities have got accreditation yet because the Teaching Council has not finalised the criteria. But the minute the Teaching Council do finalise the criteria, they will um, revert to our application and be able to see that um, we offer the modules, the necessary modules for students to um, qualify as computer science teachers. Um, so and again, that's my role as course director in the coming months to continue to liaise with them. But at the moment, I'm just waiting for them to finalise the criteria before I can get back in touch with them. So just in relation then to give you an insight, as I said, it's a new programme. So um, we're, we were very excited six weeks ago when we saw that we had 12 students enrolled in the programme um, and we continue to work closely with these students. And it's great to see their enthusiasm and their love for the programme, even at this early stage. So students on the programme are currently engaging in blended learning. So what I mean by that is they have got practical labs that are on campus and then other modules are being taught in entirely remotely. So just the world we live in, I suppose, at the moment, we're doing all this in line with government health advice. But it does mean that they have the opportunity to come on campus for those practical modules. And Tiziana, who's online with me, is actually um, leading one of those modules. So she has been fortunate enough to get to meet these students. I lead another module on the programme, but because it can be done remotely, we're being advised to do it remotely. So I've just got to meet them virtually. But again, really nice group of 12 students and who are engaging really well with the programme. 
Um, we've also, as a course board, we were very cognizant of the fact that this is a very different induction to third level for these students. And we're hoping by the time you start next year that we'll have overcome the difficulties that we're currently facing as a nation, I suppose, and that we will get to meet you on campus on day one. But if that wasn't the case, we have plans in place and this year what we've done is we've set up virtual activities, so virtual coffee mornings with the students and the course board. And again, that's just to help students to develop a sense of belonging and feel as though they are part of the wider mathematics and computer science teacher community. And I just wanted to highlight that to show that um, the course board for this program are really enthusiastic. Everyone wants to see this program being a success and we are happy to go above and beyond whatever is expected of us to ensure that you fit well right into UL. And we will do that and continue to do that whether courses are delivered online or face to face. And finally then, I just wanted to give you two testimonials. So I was chatting with the students during the week and I just asked them and they knew I was um, presenting this. So I just asked them if I was to take a quote from you to potential incoming first years, what would you say about the course? Now, bearing in mind these students are only five weeks into the course, but I just think that this gives a nice flavour of what you can expect if you're to enrol on LM097. So firstly, what I find amazing about this course is the diversity within it. Having half computer science and half mathematics, you get the best of both worlds, along with a Bachelor of Science and Education. And then another student, I'm really enjoying this course so far. We are not even halfway through our first semester, but I feel I've already learned so much. Stuff I never knew could be done with computers, I am now able to do. And the mathematics modules are helping me make